All right, gentlemen, I'm back at it again with another video. Damn, Daniel, back at it again with the white man. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys a secret to making melodies. And if we somehow manage to get 50 likes on this video, actually, let's make it 100. If we get 100 likes, I'll drop a free drum kit. But anyways, let's uh. Let's do it. All right, so for this beat, I'm gonna be going for like a gunna type vibe. So I brought the BPM to 160. And when I start all my beats, I always load an Omnisphere Keyscape patch. It's just the studio piano. And then what I do is go into the piano roll. And up at the top, there's this little arrow. You click this, go to helpers, scale highlighting. And a lot of gunna beats usually are in uh, G, G and sometimes F minor. And you can either go for a natural minor, uh, melodic minor, or uh, minor harmonic. And I'm going to go for the minor harmonic in this one. It's just more of a dark vibe. And then once you choose your scale, what it does is darkens out all the keys that are not in scale. All right, so now I'm just going to get a chord progression going real quick. All right, so this is basic chord progression I came up with. So now I'm just gonna add some filler notes and fill out the rest of the melody.
Alright, so this is the entire melody I came up with. Alright, so now I'm just going to open a few more instances of Omnisphere and just try and find some better instruments to fill out the entire sound. So what I'm doing right now is just adding an EQ, cutting the lows out so when I bring the 808 in there's no clashing of frequencies. I usually cut around about 200 hertz. Alright, so now I kind of hear a flute on this, so I'm going to go try and find a good flute.
All right, so I got most of what I want for the melody. So now I'm gonna just play for you guys and then add some drums to it real quick and then, or maybe add some more instruments as we go. All right, so all the drums in this video are actually gonna be for my drum kit. And like I said before, we get 100 likes on this video, I'll drop it for free. But anyways, so I loaded up a kick, an 808, a clap, hi-hat, a snare, a perk, an open hat, and a second open hat. So now I'm just gonna get a little rhythm going and just add as we go. If you want to add groove to your hi-hat, if you go into this little effect tab right here and bring the shift up a little bit, it'll offset the hi-hats just to add a little swing. It's, it sometimes sound a lot better. I showed this in my last video, but some of you might have missed it. So if you ever have a four bar pattern and you're trying to copy your drums over, highlight the first four bars, hit control B and that'll duplicate it to the other side. But a quick way to get to the other drums is hit uh, control K on your keyboard and this will go to the next one. And you just hit control arrow to bring the highlight over to the left and you can hit control B again and just keep repeating that until you're done with your drums. All right, so I got the clap, a snare, a perk, and two open hats done. So now I'm just gonna go in and get some hi-hat rolls going. So for your hi-hats, you never want to add too many rolls, but you also want to add enough to add like a cool bounce, which is a lot of times what I find Wheezy doing for Gunna Beats. So this is what I ended up making. All right, so we saved the best part for last, the 808, and then the kick. So when you're doing your 808s, First thing you're always going to want to do is right click the 808 and click cut itself. This will make sure the notes don't overlap and go into your piano roll. And if you made if you made the melody like we did in this video, you're just going to follow the root note of your melody. You could go out of the root note, but usually it sounds better if you just follow the root. So to make it easy, I'm just going to go into the melody 
And then I'm going to copy the bottom notes. Control C, go into the 808 and just paste it. Bring the velocity all the way up. And then bring it up an octave. And then I'm just going to edit it a little bit to make it sound better. Here's the 808 pattern. It's pretty simple, but it adds a lot of bounce. All right, so now it's time for the kick. So a lot of the times people will just follow the 808 with the kick, but I find if you actually don't follow the 808, you could add a really cool bounce. I'm gonna show you guys that real quick. Alright, so here's the kick pattern. Like I said, I didn't follow the 808 and this is what it sounds like. Alright, so that's about it for this video. Hopefully you guys learned something. If you didn't, I don't know what to tell you. But uh, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe, and remember if we hit 100 likes, I'm dropping a free drum kit. So. Uh, Stay tuned.